Hello folks, Good Guy Glenn here. Today is Thursday, March 14th, 2024. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I was supposed to be heading home. I was supposed to go home this weekend. I put in for it over a month ago. I reminded them constantly. And, um... You know, I picked up a load in Indiana, going to a Kroger in uh, Ohio. I got there last night. My unload wasn't till 02 this morning. And uh, they let me stay there overnight. I thought everything was going to be great. I thought it was going to shoot out, grab my home load. And then it was only three hours from Carlisle, where I was going to drop. And, uh, the lumpers, the lumpers at Kroger denied the load, because the load had shifted. So they wanted me to go have it restacked in Columbus. So I call Western, it's the middle of the night, and they tell me I have to wait for my DM in the morning, because they can't approve anything. So I, I ask my DM, and there's all this confusion and this nonsense, and then he tells me, oh, just go have it restacked. So I drive to this place in Columbus. No business driving a tractor trailer in this area. I get there, and they're like, we're not restacking this. We don't restack loads of water. So I take pictures of it, I send it over to the company, I fill out some form, and I'm waiting. And, you know, it's 10 o'clock now. And uh, I missed my home load. I'm not getting any word from Western. And uh, I just don't see me getting home by tomorrow. And I promised my daughter, you know, Like, I don't care. Like, I don't go home. Y'all know that. Like, going home... I'm just trying to be out here doing my thing, you know? But when your daughter... When your daughter asks you to be there for her play, her last play at high school before she graduates, and you never go home, you miss so much of her life. And, uh... You promise. You make a promise because you feel like a shitty father for not being around. Because, you know, you gotta be out doing what you gotta do. You gotta work. And, uh, you make a promise that you'll be there. And you get on top of the company about it because you know Western has a habit. You know Western's got a reputation. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you home. We'll get you home. And I reminded them for the last two weeks, every day, every day, and they just were sending me further and further away from Jersey. Further and further. And I'm like, dude, I gotta go home. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you a home load. Then this happens. And I'm like, guys, I, I need to go home. You gotta tell me what to do with this load that's refused. And they, they don't care. They have no... They don't care at all. But let's talk a little bit about lumpers. Companies hire us to bring them freight. And then we pay them to unload the freight. Does that make any sense? You want this freight? Unload it. You want me to pay your lumper? So then the lumper, the two lumpers yesterday, they show me the load. I'm like, I can unload this. Let me on the forklift. Take me 20 minutes. No, can't do that. Union rules. Union rules. Bro, you're just lazy. The load shifted a little bit on the pallet. I drove a forklift. You scoop the pallet, you push the load, the load centers itself back on the pallet, and then you stack the pallets. Anyone who's worked in the warehouse knows how to do this. These guys are lazy. Then they want to send you to another union lumper spot to stack, to get, uh, you know, reloaded. It's just a hustle, man. And now I don't get to go home. 
And I know it's only Thursday, but this it's a two-day drive to Jersey from here. If I don't leave right now, I'm, not, I'm just not making it. To be honest with you, if I don't make it home, this might be it for me with Western Express. It just might be the end. Because it's just like... It's just unprofessional. And it's just a total disregard when I send him messages. You know, my DM's pretty cool, man. I got nothing really bad to say about my DM. He keeps me busy. But I think it's just a Western policy. They just, you know, they don't give a, they don't give a crap about getting you home. And, you know, I talk a lot of crap about going home. And this is another reason why, because it's just so difficult for them. Other companies get it done, man. Other companies, you go and you have, you know what loads you're going to pick up for the week. It's none of this dropping the load and there's a mystery. Are you going to be sitting at the pilot waiting for another load for 20 minutes, two hours, two days? You never know. I wanted to make this more about the lumpers, you know? I wanted to be this uh, <coughs> lumpers are a scam type video. But... Now I don't know what happens to this load that's on my truck. Last time a load got refused, it was damaged packaging for some saran wrap. <coughs> and they told me to get rid of it. This is 20 pallets of cases of water. I can't get rid of 20. I mean, I would give it to charity, but I'm in a hurry, man. I just want to go home and see my little girl. And, uh, I don't know what I'm going to tell her when I got to call her and let her know. And then, like, I'll blame myself, you know, like, is it my fault? I could have been more careful. Maybe, you know, the load shifted in the truck and there's reasons and I don't know. I've driven water so many times and this has never happened. And I don't know why it happened. And I really thought yesterday when I got there, and they were so cool about, hey man, you're out of hours? Well, you could stay here while you're out of hours. And then they didn't want to unload me. And I explained to them the situation, like, bro, I'm trying to get home, see my little girl. And they didn't care. These union guys didn't care at all. The receiver, she was a woman, she... She felt some compassion for me, but she has no, no say. You know, the lumpers run the show over there. So now I'm on Wilson Road in uh, Columbus at the pilot. I'm sure you all know it. This is like one of the worst pilots in the country. It's like Fist Fight City over here. It's a tiny lot that they pack a lot of spots into. And people coming in and out of the fuel island can't negotiate the trucks that are trying to just park. And I'm just feeling defeated, man, and time is ticking away, and nobody's in a hurry to let me know what's going on. And I know this will somehow be my fault. Maybe Western will just fire me. Maybe I start to look for another job. I, I don't know. There's only, like, you know, June is coming up, and she's supposed to graduate from high school, and I'm going to be there for her graduation. And it's like, what, I got to worry about this again? I just got to worry about, like, I put in home time, and you can't get me home? I don't know what to think. I don't know what to say. Once again, this pilot didn't have any creamer, so I, I bought some milk, and I put it in my coffee. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that this uh, video isn't more entertaining. You know what I mean? Just, like, not feeling entertaining today. I'm just off. Still getting over this sinus infection. 
man, I was all set. I was ahead of schedule. I was going to get home early, you know, early in the afternoon. Three. I was looking at getting home at like 1500, getting a spot, you know. I already have my hotel room booked for two days. And, uh, I'm not, I'm not making it home. Yeah, you know, sucks, dude. So, like, your boy, good guy Glenn, is wrong. I'll admit that. Going home is important. You got to see your kids. And I don't, I never said that that wasn't true. I just, you know what it is? I, I just, I knew that this happened to other people. So when I say, oh, you want to go home every weekend? Okay. Because I knew it wouldn't happen. But it really sucks, man. It sucks when you want to go home. And I don't go home. I've been out here months. I'm rambling now. This video is not really going anywhere. Um, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for all of you that you're all safe. And that you all go get to go home and see your families and uh, I'm gonna pray that uh, I could be a better father, you know, to my kids. And you know, try to figure it all out. So stay safe out there. Do your pre-trips, man. Be safe. And uh, love God. Have faith. I'm sure this is happening for a reason. I just don't know what it is yet. And uh, I'll see y'all real soon, all right? If you like this video, smash that like button and do me a favor. Subscribe, it really helps. And hit the bell so when I drop another video, you get a notification. Once again, this is Good Guy Glenn. Thanks for watching.